Hello and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. Uh, I think I might have figured out a way to get my videos uploaded even without a uh, solid internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that with this video. If uh, this ends up showing up several days after my last upload, then, uh, well, it didn't work. But <laughs> we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I don't really have a specific topic for today other than just kind of upgrading you uh, updating you guys on the move and everything that's going on right now in my life um but before we do that let's go ahead and do our standard spiel oh you know what i forgot to uh get i forgot to uh I was about to say, why is my route unavailable? <laughs> I forgot to go ahead and uh, get my route ready. Uh, do the standard spiel for everybody who is just joining us right now. We are on our way out to Beagle Point, heading off in this direction. We've already gone through the galactic core all the way from the uh, bubble over here. So that's what we're doing there. Let's go ahead. Can we... Hmm, this target's obscured. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so our focus for this journey is primarily exobiology. We're trying to get the elite rank uh, by exploring as much as we can and also saving up enough money to hopefully get to where we can uh, get a fleet carrier. And then we can take our fleet carrier out into the black and worry... Caustic Sink Launcher. Okay. Must be some new stuff going on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm easily distracted. Uh, and then uh, take our fleet carry out in the black and hopefully just kind of take up residence out there and never come back. Or, well, it will come back, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have a standard cycle that we typically do for these. Um, we hop into the system, we'll pop the discovery scanner to see how many bodies are in there. We'll always do a full spectrum system scan just to pop in there and check out the frequencies that are available to see if there are any high value planets. And for high value, I am making it uh, water worlds, earth-like worlds, and ammonia worlds. Those are the worlds that I have deemed worth worthy of expending time and precious resources on going to and actually uh, going to actually scan those. Then if there are 15-ish or less bodies in the system, we'll actually do a full-on scanning every body to see if we can find any biological sources, uh, which, you know, is our primary goal. Uh, I've set 15 as the limit because in my opinion, it feels like a really good, it feels, yeah, right there, 12. We'll definitely do a full scan of this particular system. It seems like a good, uh, it seems like a good compromise between, you know, stopping regularly to scan things versus, you know, wasting too much time scanning, scanning systems that, you know, have, might have 30 bodies in it, but still end up having no biological sources anyway. So, oh, there we go. Well, we're definitely visiting that guy. Okay. We'll go ahead and finish scanning just in case maybe this is one of those strange systems that might have... Um, that might have another body in it that has maybe like five or six biological sources. But frankly, that's pretty good. Four is pretty rare. We usually get one or two. Sometimes we'll get three, four. Four and up is pretty pretty rare. Oh, I never stopped to see. All right. So let's go ahead and head ourselves over to the body here. All right. So on to the topic of discussion for the day, which is, you know, just the move that I've been in the middle of. Uh, we, we've moved from Mexico back to San Diego. Uh, I'm getting, I'm going through the paperwork of trying to get, uh, trying to volunteer at the park service so we can have a place to park our travel trailer. I'm currently in my travel trailer right now. We're parked in an RV park waiting uh, to move over to the next little area. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, so my internet situation is just that there's Wi-Fi here at the park and my phone can connect to it, but in my infinite wisdom, when I built this computer two or three, or four years ago? It might have been four years ago. When I built this computer way back when, in my infinite wisdom, my thought process was, it's a tower. I don't need Wi-Fi. I'm never going to take it anywhere, and I'll always have a, li a line connection. <laughs> so my, my, my PC doesn't have a Wi-Fi, and I did have a wireless dongle at one point, but I gave it away to somebody, and uh, I don't have it anymore. And rather than go spend thirty or forty dollars to go get another one, when we're going, to, we're, we're trying to get a mobile internet solution, anyways. I just I didn't want to spend that money on that, especially given the fact that we just spent a lot of money moving. So I had resigned myself to the idea that you know I'm kind I'm kind of screwed with as far as oops I think we can go ahead and scan here. I, I had already kind of resigned myself to the fact that you know it is what it is. I I'm, I'm gonna have to take a I'm gonna have to have a break on my channel for you know 
being unable to upload videos because I'm not able to connect my computer to the internet so I can upload my videos. But then it occurred to me, well, I uploaded a video with my phone, with my phone, I, I, I think I can, I think I can record this video. That's, I want to take a second and find out what's on the planet here. Bacterium stratum, frutexa, and tussock. Okay, so it seems like we can go to the Frutexa and then anywhere outside of the mountains there. We're probably not going to be able to get to the Frutexa, but we'll try. Let's get the thing turned off. Um, I think what, I, what I'm going to try to do after I finish recording this video, and you guys will know if it, if it posts as of March 4th, you know it worked. And if it doesn't, then I wasn't able to figure it out. But my idea is, is to copy the video over to my phone and then use my, my YouTube app my YouTube, the YouTube studio app on my phone to try to upload the video from my phone because I have unlimited data on my phone and I don't know I, I, I think I can get away with that I think I can get away with that we'll have to wait and see all right so I'm gonna come down like right over here and see if we can uh, I'm trying to focus on the throttle here because if you're not careful, sometimes you'll overspeed it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm gonna try to. I, I don't. I don't know if it tracks the kind of data that you're doing. Um, you know, if I can, because if I use my tethering, it uses up my tethering budget, and there's, you know, everybody has a limited amount of that on their phone plan, at least from what I'm, whatever, ugh, from what I've always seen. Um, so, whoa, we don't want to do that. I will get through this explanation eventually. It's just we're in the process of something I need to kind of pay attention to, so bear with me. Sorry. <laughs> well, we got some bacteria here. I mean, I guess we might as well go ahead and... Oh, oh there's the tussock over there. I'm going to go for the tussock first. Apologize if there's any background noise. I am in an RV park right now, so I can't, I can't help people driving by. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get that. So anyways, like I said, I was hoping... Oh, you know what? I need to do something really quick. There we go. I, I, reali I, I'll, I realized that uh, I've been having an issue with the mouse going down to the taskbar and, it, and it, I end up clicking out of the window and then I realized I have the Power Toys preview from uh, from Windows 11 and it provides you with the option to make a window always up, always on top with a keybind. So, yeah. I wish I had remembered that this whole time. I could have avoided a lot of frustration. Come on. I think I just saw some. Get back over here. I thought I saw some. All right, well, ideally we'll find some over here. Anyways, as I've been trying to say for the last probably five minutes, um, I'm gonna. Tr I'm hoping that using my phone, like actually putting the video on my phone and then using my phone to upload it, rather than going through my computer through the tether from my computer, will not use tethering data. Will not use it, that budget, and will just use my unlimited data that I have available. So, you know, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll find out. That's the plan. I mean, I guess one way or another, I'm gonna upload it since I'm recording it, but. And just I don't I don't have a lot you know tethering plans don't or <laughs> data plans don't come with a lot of tethering available because they don't want you becoming a power user using your phone as a modem. I can't wait till we get to the part. I, I would I would really like it if we could just have our phone be our modems, you know, instead of having to use a, a phone service or use a, a different a dedicated internet service. But it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Tussock. Okay. I know I know my talking is very sporadic right now. It's because I'm really close to the ground trying to land and grab stuff and get all of this going. 
I think there was a bacteria over here to the left as we were landing, so I'm gonna turn off here and look. Yes, there was. So let's go ahead and grab this, and we'll just continue off in that direction, because why not? Actually, this is stratum. Stratum tech. Oh, I don't remember. Did we get a first footfall on this one? If we got a first footfall, that's another 90 million credits. Is there a way to scroll back up through our... Ugh, okay. Well, we're going to skim the ground and try to find those two. I mean, at the very least, it's a that's at the top end of the spectrum when it comes to exobiology things that you can scan. So we'll grab the Tectonicus. Come on. There we go. There's a reason I have shields, and it's so I can just bang my ship on the ground and find a landing spot as quickly as possible. Is this the... Why is this all, like, smoking over here? That's weird. Okay, I don't know why that was smoky like that, but that's all right. We're going to continue on and go off to the next one. So, yeah, uh, I know I keep... I'm having a really hard time focusing right now. It's been... I don't know. The last time record, I recorded was three or four some odd days ago. I don't remember. I'm just really out of practice, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of like sitting down and recording and remembering that I have to talk while I play, because for the last several days I've been just kind of playing and not playing and not talking at all, because I don't talk when I play. Um, let's see, we'll grab another one of these over here. Okay. So yeah, right now we're currently in a trailer, right, right now we're currently in an RV park, and then we're going to be, I'm, I am going to be volunteering for the park service um, in exchange for a spot which is great because it means that we're going to have a place to park the trailer and live in it and do all of that cool stuff while we kind of set ourselves up for the future and hopefully, you know, build the channel up, find a, a couple of other independent income streams that allow me to, uh, that allow me to be remote and not have to be in person for things. And then uh, that's, you know, ideally we can get to that we can get to that point as quickly as possible and get on the road and then I guess we'll start the uh, is this going to be bacteria? Yes, it is. Then we can start a travel channel. <laughs> Might as well, right? If we're going to be going places, start a second channel and have uh, have a travel channel going, and I'll have my gaming channel that I'm doing, and I'll have my travel channel that I'm doing. Show you guys all the cool places that we go, assuming we can, you know, get started on that journey. Okay, so that's bacteria. I don't believe we're going to get... I don't know that we're going to get to the Fertexa. Come on. Now, I have said in the past that um, the night vision doesn't help with finding bacterium, but... I have found that that actually is not the case, and it's not because, and it's, well, I said it was not helpful because it won't highlight the bacteria, but the funny thing about that is, is that it is helpful because the bacteria is the only thing that doesn't get highlighted, so it makes it easier to see because it's the only thing that's not highlighted. So it does make it, it does end up standing out using night vision. Night vision is very helpful for your exobiology part because you get the nice solid green outlines that really highlights objects on the ground. It makes it much easier to find things. Okay, so we'll grab we'll grab the other we'll grab one more um we'll grab one more of those samples and then we're gonna look for some for Texa. 
I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time trying to find it. But at the same time, I don't want to rush off this planet too because we're already we're already a good a good way through the video. <laughs> so realistically, trying to find another planet to land on is uh, it might be a tall order. Okay, let's see if we can identify some bacterium here. There we go. We'll do this one here since it's we're kind of iner inertializing in that direction. <laughs> inertializing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't claim to be uh, I don't claim to be the smartest person in the world. Okay, so this is our last bacterium. That's the third, right? So we got the Stratum Tectonicus, we got the Tussock, we got the Bacterium. The only thing that's left is the Frutexa, and that was all up in, like, mountainy areas. So we'll find some mountains to go fly through and see if maybe we can find some, but realistically, I'm not holding my breath. If you're curious, I am using just a keyboard to fly around right now. Okay, so we are looking for planty, planty looking things. I don't see anything yet. Take a second and look in this crater here and see if maybe we can find anything. Oops, wrong way. Come on. Yeah, it's just rocks. I don't know. Sometimes you can find the Frutexa on flat areas near the mountainy areas, but I don't know. You gotta be pretty lucky to find that. Yeah, we're getting back down where all the normal stuff is. I'm not thinking we're gonna have much luck with the Frutexa. We'll go up over this mountain, and if there's nothing... Oop. was uh un that was unintended yeah, I'm not seeing anything normally you'd see some kind of outline shapes that look weird but uh, so far nothing all right well I think we're gonna go ahead and find a place to set down around here because I don't want to make this video too long in case I'm not able to get it uploaded. If it works, then I'll probably record another episode after this. Okay. Yep, so I'm not seeing anything here. Very unfortunate. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends a video out to as many people as possible. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Uh, or, you know, click that super thanks button if you want to support the channel the other way. Uh, all your support is greatly appreciated and a critical component to making this a uh, full-time gig. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys are having lots of fun on this journey with me. And I will see you for the next one.